Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few useful tricks in the Project Explorer. This is important for navigating between systems and objects. Maybe you will find a few functions that you're not yet familiar with. I have opened my Project Explorer, my Eclipse here, and I have some systems sorted alphabetically. Then I click here on select working set and I create some working sets here. Click here new and then I pick resource, click on next and my working set name is development for example. And then I pick the system which I want to assign to this working set. In this case, my development systems. Click on finish. Next, I create another working set, a production working set. Here again, I assign my production systems and I click on finish. Now I have created two working sets. Click on OK. And now I click on the three dots again and I select the working set. For example, first the development working set. If I select this, we see only my development system because I'm a developer and I'm often only in my developer development systems. So I can pick the production working set as well. Then I see my four systems. But the best case is to set the top level elements not to project, to working sets. Then we have a nice grouping here, working sets and other projects which are not assigned to any working sets. So I find this is the best overview. So now let's uh, connect to a development system. So I click here on this system, we see the folder opens. I see a logon window. Then I log on to this system. And if you open the system or project for the first time, you will see a few default folders that are displayed. However, this view can be expanded as required. So I click here with the uh, right mouse click on the system or on the project, then on new and then on upper repository tree. And here we see some options, package collection, for example, or my objects. First, I pick here my objects, click on next. The tree name is, is okay, it's my objects. And then we can set the property filter, in this case, owner, developer. So that means that in this uh, folder are only these objects like packages or programs which are created from the user developer. So some set uh, packages or set programs. And if you want, you can add some other developers uh, to this uh, filter, to these properties. Next, uh, I click again, right mouse click new and up up repository tree. Then I pick the package collection. Click on next. And here we can group some packages uh, like for a project, for example. So I type here project cast and code. This is my project name or my tree name. And then I set the property filter package. Then I set here, uh, I pick some set packages, set examples first and another set package, set flight additional, for example. Then I click here on finished. And now I have a project folder with the assigned packages in it. Set examples or, and set flight additional. So 
on my system library you see there are lots of packages i can pick here some packages and add it to my uh, favorite package folder with right mouse click and add to favorite packages then they are grouped in this favorite packages folder and i can remove them as well so in any case it is advisable to take some time to set up the project explorer according to your needs you will gain an overview and save a lot of time during the development i hope you enjoyed the video if so please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content write me something in the comments i'm always happy to read from you goodbye and see you soon